If you're watching this presentation, it's because caring for patients is part of your daily routine. If you're concerned about being around infectious illnesses, this video will help you. You'll get advice about how to better care for yourself and others through healthy habits and how to avoid further spread of infection. Now, imagine a typical healthcare facility in the middle of flu season. At the end of January, it's easy to find many people sick all at the same time. A large number of people with infectious diseases can easily stress healthcare resources, so it's very important to keep the spread of germs to a minimum. How can you help? Take a look. Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith? Charles Smith? Uh, it's me. How are you? I've been better. Hmm? And you? Not too bad. It's getting cold out, isn't it? Follow me. me. OK, here we are. The doctor will be right in to see you. Mr. Smith. Mm. Hi. Good morning. <coughs> Dr. Benson. Dr. Benson. What brings you to us today? I've had a cold, but I've also got the chills and a, a cough. Mm -hmm. And I just can't seem to shake them. I feel lousy. And uh, really tired and achy and... Um, I've been getting these terrible headaches. Sounds like you might have the flu. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a good look, all right? And uh, we'll see what we got, OK? okay. <clears throat> Just breathe easy. OK, good. Lean forward for me and take two deep breaths. Excuse me. Put it in there. OK. Just uh, lift your head back a little bit. Thank you. Good. Good. There you go. OK. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay. Just open up for me quickly. Good. Here we go. You'll notice the doctor's wearing a mask. It's very important to protect your eyes, nose, and mouth during procedures and patient care activities that are likely to generate splashes or spray, like a sneeze, for example. Washing your hands with soap and warm water is the easiest and most important way to protect yourself and others. It's best to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds by rubbing your hands together between your fingers, the backs of your hands, and under your fingernails. It's important to keep fingernails short, clean, and undecorated. Dry your hands and turn off the faucet with the same paper towel to avoid contaminating your hands again. If you can't wash your hands with soap and hot water, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. They need to have an alcohol level of 60 to 95% in order to be effective at killing germs. Dispense it into the palm of your hand, working the gel between fingers, under fingernails, and the backs of your hands. Don't rinse your hands or dry them with a paper towel. Always wash your hands when they're visibly soiled, before and after touching a patient, before and after using the bathroom or eating, immediately after you take off a mask, and immediately after removing disposable gloves. Gloves are necessary when you're dealing with blood or other infectious body fluids, excretions, secretions, except sweat, mucous membranes, and non-intact skin. Gloves should be immediately removed after caring for a patient. Never wear the same gloves for more than one patient. Okay. Well, Mr. Smith, you have all the symptoms we'd expect to see with the flu. So, guess what? Got the flu. What do we do now? Is, is there something you can give me? Unfortunately, no. Um, the flu is viral, okay? So any antibiotic medications won't work. But uh, there are a few things we can do to help you, uh, help your symptoms, make you feel a little bit better, okay? And. Uh, 
uh, more importantly, help avoid spreading germs to your family and friends. Number one, always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, okay? Um, if you could take enough guard, just raise your arm, cough and sneeze, just like this. Do not use your hands, okay? Number two, as soon as you're done using the tissue, throw it away and wash your hands immediately, all right? And number three, I know this is hard, but try to stay home and get well before you go back to work. I know it's hard, everybody has to work, but we want to avoid spreading germs to your coworkers. Okay, so do you usually get a flu shot? Mm -mm, no. I would reconsider that. Uh, it helps to get a flu shot every year. And the flu vaccine changes every year to cover the next season's flu strain. And they're very effective, so I would, uh, I would think about it, okay? And uh, one more thing, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, all right? Because that spreads germs from your hands, which you may think are clean, all right? But it just probably spreads more germs. But, uh, you know, we'll get you set up and get taken care of, so uh, why don't you come on over and uh, you can wash your hands now, okay? You, you can help money. when it comes to infection control. To help reduce the spread of germs in your life, Make good hygiene a habit. Visit nyhealth.gov or cdc.gov for more information about infection control and what you can do to help others. The work you do is important. It's equally important to protect yourself and your patients while doing your job.